<clears throat> for business and professional speech, we did a workshop on Thursday about the communication process model and how it applies to miscommunication or misunderstandings in our own personal experiences from work or school or anything personal. And what's unfortunate is that miscommunication misunderstandings happen too often and regularly. You know, that I think that was the bottom line that we all had come to. And you would think that a company, as a company, we'd all want the same goal, right? To complete the tasks and to get things done effect effectively and quickly. However, there's always too many factors in play when it comes to communication, management, employees, customers. I think we all need a better way to communicate to lessen confusion when it comes to stuff like this, because it seems like it happens on a daily basis. Uh, Jose, he was talking about when he was 18 years old and he worked in the plants, that he was real young. They didn't really explain everything to him. He was doing, he was just doing what he was told. So he was going to a plant job. They were preparing him and training him and all these different things. They sent him to a local place of training and then they sent, shipped him off to Chicago. He was living here at the time in Baytown and then they shipped him to Chicago to work his first plant job. And when they, a couple days in, things were going fine until it came to a specific part of the job that takes a certain training. And they asked everyone in the group like, hey, do you have this specific card? and he didn't have the card, so he thought. So he brought it up to his head groupman that, he, hey, I don't have the card. And they were like, well, why did, how, would, how did they send you here without that training? That doesn't make any sense. And so they were kind of scrambling, trying to figure out what the issue was. And they were like, you sure you don't have this card? And he looked down and he was like, no, this is all I have. And it was a card with a bunch of things listed on it. And they had found that he did have the training. He did have the, the proper certification. It was just not a separate card. It was all on one. So somewhere along the way, there is miscommunication. And we had all dissected that together as a group. For Logan, his experience was in third grade. He just wanted to answer a question in class. And he had his hand raised and the teacher kind of skipped over him, but continuing to pick other people. And it kind of hurt his feelings. He read the body language as like negative feedback and you know he told his mom he had you know he was in third grade he got his feelings hurt so he told his mom and the mom went to the principal and tried to see what the problem was and then the teacher just ended up explaining that she knew he knew the answer but she wanted to let other people or give other students a chance to answer and so there's miscommunication there miss i think a misunderstanding because she could have just told him when he had his hand raised that, well, let's see if someone else can answer the question. It would have saved this whole problem from even happening, you know? And then as for Lauren, she was a server at Applebee's at the time during Christmas. And there was a dinner rush, of course, during Christmas. It's busy. She had been working six hours straight without a restroom break. So as soon as things died down and the restaurant was beginning to close up, she told the manager, hey, before I do any of my side work, I'm going to go to the restroom real quick. And the manager said no you're going to do dishes and there was already high tensions there there was probably a lot of already interference or noise in the context of how busy it was it was just not a good situation but it grew it escalated too quickly i think and you know laura just wanted to go to the restroom and then the manager was like no you're going to do your side work and you're going to do dishes and it just wasn't getting resolved and there was something not continuing the message properly and you know, Lauren ended up leaving the job. And so it's frustrating that for many people, there's it's big things and small things, you know, miscommunication on every level, even just down to if someone asks you to do a task, you're like, well, how do I do that task? You didn't really elaborate, you know? And so, and as for my experience, my experience was it kind of stumped the group. I think everyone else's, we, we kind of figured out what, you know, how to fit it into the communication process model. And we knew where who the source was, what the message was, the receiver, the feedback, the context. We could figure it out pretty easily. When it came to my issue, uh, I think they took a little bit longer to process, or it was a lot to digest, I think. And mine was the time, I worked at a gym at the time, 
and I got the flu. It was December. I worked around a lot of people. I was also a server and I worked at the gym, so I got sick. And I went to a doctor. I brought my notes saying, hey, I can't come in for two days. And the serving job was like, cool, get better, come back as scheduled two days from now. The gym said, cool, have fun, or not have fun, get better, and we'll see you, you know, when you're better. And then later that night, I get a text from my manager saying, hey, where are you? You know, which was confusing because I just talked to him before. And he was like, you need to find coverage. And I, I was sick, you know, it was just me and one other girl trained overnight. So there was calls and texts that on my end or from my end trying to see if somebody got coverage. And then when I go back into work the following Friday or that the next shift I was scheduled, uh, I was brought into the office being explained to why I'd been fired, which I was guilty of two counts of no call, no shows, even though I had the flu. So that one they try to dissect and it was kind of a big one. But either way, we've all had some, I think everyone, you could ask anybody down the street or your family member or a friend, coworker. Uh, and you can think of countless times that there's miscommunication or a misunderstanding in the workforce. And I think what I learned from this is not not that it's inevitable, but it's a never ending cycle, I think. And I wanna, it makes me wanna understand the model so much more just so I can at least not be one of the issues of interference or the reason why something's not being completed all the way in this communication model. So, I think I said it before that I don't understand this model 100%, but I get the grasp of it. And I'm excited to learn more about it throughout the semester to see how we can apply it and what it means in business and professional speech or just working in, in a certain field and how I can apply it to everyday situations with my friends, significant other, or even family members. So I can't wait for the rest of the semester and I look forward to more projects.